welcome back everyone so today i'll be sharing an amazing trick of google drive that can be really useful for most of us in daily day-to-day -day life and this can be really useful for the people who are in a job or doing their schooling or working on any kind of institution now basically what happened they have to work on multiple kind of project or they have to create any kind of presentation or if they are working on any kind of document and if they want to continue their work from their home also then they have to carry that particular document in a pen drive or any kind of external drive but there is a drawback here many times it happens that you forget to carry that usb to your home or from home to the office and so you're not able to complete your work but with the google drive you can upload that data in a drive where the data and work will be auto saved by syncing which you can access from your office and home or any other location and let me tell you that there are already a lot of people who are using this trick but they have a common question that in order to access the drive they need an active internet connection but today i will be sharing an amazing trick through which you can access these drive these file these folders without having any internet connection so without any delay let's quickly get started All right, so on your computer, bring up any of your favorite browser and then you have to access drive.google.com. So either you can type drive.google.com in the address box and directly access the Google Drive. Or if you are on a Gmail, then on the right in top, you will find the nine dot. You have to click on it. And from here also, you can open the Google Drive So open it. So once the Google Drive comes up on the right in top, you will find the setting gear icon. You need to click on it. And here you have to click on get drive for desktop click on it and then it says safely store your file and access them from any device now here simply you have to click on download drive for desktop and the downloading will be started and it's around 178 mb so it may take some time depending on your connection and once it get downloaded you have to click on the downloaded file click on yes they will be getting this kind of page it says add an application shortcut to your desktop so yes i will add it check this option then it says add desktop shortcut to google Docs, sheet and slide you can add it as of now in future if you want to delete then you can easily delete it as well so keep both the options checked click on install so once it will be installed it says google drive successfully installed you will have to click on launch and on your desktop also you can find the google drive icon google docs google sheet and google slide all right so now it says welcome to google drive click on get started then it says sign in to get started now here what you have to keep in mind that you sign in with the same google account that you will be using to access your document both from your office and from your home or from any other location so the google id will be same for all the location so click on sign in and now you can enter your information your google id enter your password click on next click on sign in now here it will ask you choose folder to sync from your computer to drive so basically which folder you want that should be synced and that you want to access from both the location so if you have any project in the desktop then you can choose the desktop option if you have it on a document then you can choose document or download or if you want to add a new folder let's say if I add any kind of folder on the desktop let me create it I will name it as crown docs okay and I have my important work that I want to do from my office also and from my home also so what I need to do here I will click on add folder I will go to desktop and select this folder that I have created then i will click on select folder now if you have any other location as well then you can also select them and then you have to click on next and then it says backup photos and videos of google photos additionally you can choose folder to backup up to google photos so this is an additional step if you want to save any kind of pictures or videos to your google photos then you can also do that by selecting the option here i won't do that right now so i will just skip it and then it says this folder will be synced to drive the selected folder will start to sync once the setup is being completed now i have to click on next 
your drive files are just a click away in the file explorer your file will be shown up in the file explorer without taking up hard drive space again click on next click on open drive and now the next time when you have to access the google drive click on the google drive icon that is saved on your desktop okay so once you have applied all these changes now let's see that how exactly it work so on the right hand side i have opened the drive.google.com and on the left hand side i will open this folder that i have created now i'm showing you this practically so that you can better understand that how exactly this work now if i create any folder here or any kind of file like if i make a right click here hover up to new and choose a folder and name it as like test one so once i have created on the right hand side on my drive.google.com you can see the file has been already uploaded here right i created test one folder here and it has been automatically synced in the drive.google.com so now i can access this file from my home location from the local drive and i can also access it through the drive.google.com not only this let me show you if i again make a right click hover up to new and choose a text document and name it as test 2 and you will see that it will be automatically synced on my the drive.google.com you can see that not only this if i make any changes here like if i click on the three dot and rename it like instead of test 2 i make it test 3 and if i click on ok now the moment i will click on it you will notice it will be renamed on the left hand side also in a local drive and if not then you can go ahead and refresh the page and bingo so you can see that it has been automatically renamed to test 3 so this is exactly how it will work so if you do anything on your office and save the work over here the work will be automatically saved into your home local drive and then you can access the saved data from any of the location so on drive.google.com you can access either from the home page or you can also click on the computers then you will find the my pc option and this name basically is the name of this computer and here you'll find the crown docs folder and inside it you will find all the files that you will be saving and this can be really useful for you if you work on the same platform let's say if you are on a small office but sitting on a different location then also you can do some kind of data transfer so now it's a google drive free service and they provide you around 15 gigabyte of space so go ahead and enjoy the service and use their 15 gigabyte of free space to access them locally or from the drive.google.com so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye